acord del Consell de Govern. El Consell de Govern de la Universitat Oberta de Catalunya, en la sessió ordinària que va tenir lloc a Barcelona el dia 23 de juliol de 2008, va acordar investir doctor honoris causa Sir Timothy Berners-Lee. Aquesta és la més alta distinció acadèmica concedida a títol d'honor a una persona, en reconeixement dels seus mèrits i de la seva labor. Today, the Universitat Oberta de Catalunya has the privilege of honoring Sir Timothy Berners-Lee, the, the man who weaved the world, by bestowing upon him its highest distinction, the degree of Dr. Honoris Causa. As Tim Berners-Lee declared in 2002, the world can only really be changed one piece at a time. The art is speaking that piece. Indeed, most young persons dream about changing the world, usually to do good to humankind. Then life settles in and the daily grind gradually stifles the drive to create. Only a few climb the mountain and actually change the world. Even fewer keep climbing towards higher peaks, and just a handful of exceptional individuals do so without appropriating and monopolizing the harvest of their creation. huge honor to receive this honorary degree. It's a very special honor to receive it from this university which has added so much, which has contributed through so much work and for, uh, for such a wonderful cause contributed to what is on the web and to the activities that happen on the web. Uh, there are, of course, uh, like in for any medium, Good things and bad things that happen out there, but the work of this uh, university has been is uh, one of the things which is clearly a uh, wonderful and very important important step. So it's uh, it's great to be here. It's great to be honoured. Uh, but to have a celebration, of course, uh, we're tempted to look back, and we have to be remember that with something like the web, it's always every layer of technology and layer of creativity is just a platform for new people to come along and do new things. So when we look back in a few years' time, we will be shocked by what has happened. So to spend too much time looking back, it's useful historically so that we understand the future. It's useful so that we understand when we can set our agenda for the future, but also we should never imagine that we're done. We never imagine that the web is as you see it. Never imagine, uh, just look at it and analyze it, always think how it could be better, always imagine how things could be better. And you know what the great thing about computing technology is that if you can imagine it being better, then you can go and program it to be better. You might think of the web as being an abstract space of connected web pages. And in fact, that I always used to think of the web as being a space of interconnected web pages connected by links. But then when you think about that link, you think why it is there. Well, it was put there by a person under particular motivations. And why did they put it there? So that other people could follow it. So it is the person who made the link, and it's the person who follows the link. So the web, if you have to understand why, if you have to want to not just browse the web, but understand the web, understand how it works, then you have to think of the web as being the web of people, the people that make links, the people that write, the people that follow links, the people that read. La Universitat Oberta de Catalunya avui fa un solemne reconeixement dels mèrits del professor Sir Timothy Berners-Lee, creador de la World Wide Web, la web. Quan el seu padrí, el professor Manuel Castells, el va proposar al Consell de Govern, ens van sentir molt honrats i molt agraïts de tenir la possibilitat de poder-li mostrar el nostre reconeixement pels seus mèrits 
com és habitual en aquest tipus de cerimònies. Però, molt especialment, perquè com ja s'ha dit i repetit, ell és el creador del món on la UOC, una comunitat de quasi 50.000 estudiants en aquest moment, 15.000 graduats, 2.200 professors i 550 gestors, nascuda l'any 1994, no solament s'ha pogut desenvolupar i crear, sinó que a més a més ha tingut la possibilitat i la necessitat de construir simultàniament una nova plataforma tecnològica, podria afirmar que de les primeres, dedicada a l'ensenyament universitari virtual al món, un nou model d'universitat, un nou model d'aprenentatge i un nou model de gestió, tots els quals han estat i són punts de referència en l'àmbit internacional.